Olfaction. The sense of smell is mediated by the first cranial nerve. It is the only sensory modality without a thalamic relay. Complaints may include anosmia, hyposmia, parosmia, or loss of appreciation of flavors in food. Smell is tested on clinical examination by means of non-irritating aromatic compounds such as oil of wintergreen, cloves, coffee, almond oil, or lemon oil. The stimulus is presented to one nostril with the other occluded. The ability to appreciate the presence of substance, even if not properly identified, is evidence that anosmia is not present. Unilateral anosmia is more often due to a structural lesion than to a diffuse process. Causes of anosmia or hyposmia include the following. Infection, rhinitis, sinusitis, basilar meningitis, frontal abscess, osteomyelitis, viral hepatitis, syphilis, influenza. Toxic or metabolic disorders, pernicious anemia, zinc deficiency, lead or calcium intoxication, diabetes mellitus, hypothyroidism, neoplasms, frontal tumor, olfactory groove or sphenoid meningioma, and radiation therapy, trauma to cribiform plate, congenital olfactory agenesis, Kalman syndrome, and septo-optodysplasia, other hydrocephalus, amphetamine and cocaine abuse, aging, smoking, trigeminal lesions, anterior cerebral artery disease, polyps, multiple sclerosis, Alzheimer's disease, and Parkinson's disease. Hyperosmia is seen in hysteria, migraine, hyperemesis, gravidarum, cystic fibrosis, Addison's disease, and strychnine poisoning. Olfactory hallucinations can occur with neoplasms or vascular disease involving the inferomedial temporal lobe near the hippocampus or uncus. Unconate fits are so-called because of the presence of olfactory or gustatory hallucinations as part of complex partial or simple partial seizures. These may be triggered or even be arrested by olfactory stimulation. Anosmia is not present in such cases. And that is olfaction. Have a great day.